My name is Dior Baumjohan, and in this micro lecture episode, we will go over copyright fundamentals. So here we will focus on copyrights as they relate to software programs. Um, so we'll go over what, uh, what software is, how software can be protected by copyrights, and also some considerations to take into account when commercializing software. The learning goals of this micro lecture are to know some examples of software technologies and the protection available under copyrights, and to be aware of third party rights um, and possible effects these may have on the commercialization of software. So what is software? A typical example of research results um, that can be protected by copyrights is software. In general terms, software is a, sequence of, is a sequence of instructions run on a computer in order to produce a result. Software can either be a standalone program or integrated with hardware. Um, you have likely encountered software programs and products. Uh, here are just a few examples of software technologies that are used um, or developed um, in the life sciences. So this includes control of a medical device, uh, research tools, an app, digital health product, games, as well as software that's used to access a database. Copyright protection of software. So software can be protected under copyrights. The copyright protection arises the moment of the creation of the work. So in terms of software, this means as soon as the code is programmed or written. Unlike patents, there's no registration or costs um, associated with uh, or necessary to obtain protection under copyrights. However, in some jurisdictions, um, it may be advantageous uh, to register the copyrights. Copyrights uh, help to protect the form of the expression, but not the underlying idea. And copyright protection also does not prevent the independent double creation. So this means that copyrights only protect from relatively minor deviations from the code. So a problem could arise uh, if the same effect or result can be created by different code. Copyrights to your code would not necessarily protect against a uh, copyright of a different code. And copyright protection uh, lasts uh, for 70 years from the death of the author. With respect to the copyrighted part of the software, a copyright license is required to copy and reproduce, exploit, such as copy or distribute, to uh, the translation or modification of that part of the software, distribute, and also, if applicable, communicate to the public in a non-material form or publicly perform that part of the software um, or copyright uh, material. Therefore, copyrighted works can be commercialized by negotiating a license agreement with the company that regulates these terms. So here we're going to talk about some considerations um, to take into account when commercializing software. Before software can be commercialized, the content and any obligations with respect to intellectual property rights of third parties must be assessed. Researchers can help make this process easier by keeping clear records of any tools or elements used to generate the code or the software from outside sources. For each tool and element from a third party that is used, any licenses and the license terms need to be reviewed. This includes all open source uh, software and freeware. Many software licenses include certain restrictions or obligations that need to be taken into account when determining whether or how the software can be commercialized. Your technology transfer office can help you review your software for any potential third party obligations and also provide advice on known software licenses and obligations um, before you start developing your software program if you think that there could be um, commercial uh, applications. So after having watched this micro lecture, um, I hope that you now know that um, IP protection may be available for software programs under copyrights. And also, it's important to review for um, all third-party rights in software prior to the start of commercialization activities. Thank you.